is Queen Deja and in today's video I will be reacting to episode 5 of season 2 of the quintessential quintuplets. Let's go ahead and get started <clears throat> in 3, 2, 1, go. You been on vacation? I feel like I'm watching a completely different show. What, th nothing else? They're your children, for Christ's sake. Yeah, since you're quitting, you can say what you want to say to him. Mm hmm I mean that stare that's like a blank stare I don't know but <laughs> oh my god because you would think <laughs> no none of the girls have a blank stare like their dad but like oh my god what is that stare Jesus Christ like mm -mm. <laughs> oh god what happened you just want to know, how did your mom fall in love with your dad? Cody, why are you crying, pup? What's wrong? Come here. No, come here. <laughs> Cody, oh my god. No, no. This dog. Okay, you gonna let me know? Come here. I can see you with her short hair. Cody, right here. Ann. No, don't growl at me. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Hey, right here. Ann. Hello. Cody. That dog just laughed. You just. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> oh. oh, look at me! Oh my god! You guys look so No, what the fuck? Hmm? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
Are you sure? Because it feels like you guys are buttering him up for something. Hella filthy. Mm -hmm. Very, very fishy. What the Yeah. Well, you guys can babysit right, huh? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Why was it the. Yeah, because Miku, I feel like you're the one who likes him the most. I know, have each can do it. I mean, cause come on, that's Etsia. Your girl wants them to still be together. <laughs> I mean, you might as well. I mean, it's already ha oh. But are you sure? I mean, you want something, right? I mean...
Yeah, because if they were still living at home, of course, you wouldn't be able to see them anywhere. He is right. Ah, you look so cute. <laughs> oh, Miku. See, at first, I thought Nina would want to be like into something like a fashion designer. so good what did you put in your pie <laughs> why oh oh so Ichika might be here Yeah, because you have to divide your money and see what's important and what's not. So that also could be the reason why Iski also wants to get jobs as well.
Because that's your pie. Excuse me. Well, because that's different. Oh, my. Well, they need help shopping. Well, damn. Oh, your shoes are so cute. Maybe, but you know, you like them too, like, huh? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That blank stare just creeps me the fuck out. Like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Well, he is family to them. Of course you do.
Don't say anything. Don't even do anything. Damn it, Yotsuba. Damn, I want coffee now, but I mean, there is no place open at 11 11 at night. Maybe Dunkin' Donuts, but <laughs> I am driving down there. <laughs> okay, let's just hope and pray, number one, that these girls can pass this term so that they don't have to transfer to school because that would really suck. I would hate the fact if they had to transfer and their father say like after this yeah you can't see Futaro-kun anymore like he the fact that he's still currently letting these girls still hang out with him and you know tutor even though they're not the one he's not the one paying for it the girls are essentially paying for it even though uh, Futaro is like, I don't want your money, I just want you guys to do better and such, which is okay, but still, in my opinion, if someone, if, okay, no, let me switch it like this. If I'm asking, if I'm paying for someone, or I'm the one getting paid to bring you, and I say, I don't want anything, 50 out of 50 sometimes, you, you may want to do the nice thing and say, yeah, but this is my appreciation for you and that's what they're what they're doing for him whether it's giving him a massage um having him go up to the supermarket or anything with them doing things with them whether it's not studying but something that is them repaying him hell even if they were babysitting raya or going to his house and cleaning up his house or cooking for him those are several little repayments without actually giving him money but, I mean, because, of course, since Ichika is the only one acting um, and working and the other four aren't, it's a little more um, hard for them to, you know, choose between we got to pay the rent, then plus we have to pay the electric bill, um, the cable bill, any other bills that, you know, you have. Because before this, they were living, you know, the life of luxury and everything. They didn't have to worry about when their next meal was um paying the rent paying like anything but because these five are out on their own and Ichika is the only one who is essentially having a job and even like Itsuki as I said and like earlier in this episode where Itsuki was like yeah let's all get jobs and such and I if I think honestly if they all got jobs plus focusing yes it's gonna get make them a little draining just like anyone else it's very similar to um a working high school student cl uh, slash college student and stuff and how, you know, you're going to be mentally drained at some point, especially when you're getting closer and closer to your final exams and everything. Um, but you just take it one day at a time and you have to multitask and balance with it. Can we just talk about the fact that out of the three, Butada, Nino, and Yotsuba, Yotsuba was the only one able to lift this damn rice. I mean, Nino was able to do it, but only with Futada's help. And such, I mean, because, yeah, Yotsuba just... Yosuba, Yosuba is a fucking beast. That's all I have to say about her. Hell, even seeing freaky Ichiga <laughs> acting and hearing Kana, <laughs> like, voice, all I immediately heard when she talked in her cutesy voice was freaking Mayuri and, like, so many other characters who she voiced that I love so much in any roles that she's playing. And I'm just like, oh my god, like, here we go again. Like, my heart, like, oof. 
we all came rushing back all at the same moment. We're like, oh my god, mm, we've come so far. <laughs> but it was so good to see her act like a ditzy character because she's just so fucking cute. And I honestly really want to see Ichiga and like, um, not only ditzy roles, but also more mature and dramatic roles where it like not only enhances her character but her acting and her range of how she can do it i mean it's the same thing with voice acting in general especially when you see because <laughs> me and my friend we had a conversation last night um about <laughs> saves and everything and he was like how the hell do they be going from this cutesy voice to like this deep voice of a female and it should be like i can't believe that's a female i'm like yeah those are <laughs> <laughs> it's a woman doing that. I'm like, it, it's amazing how they can go from this cutesy voice to like a very dramatic role that you you look at the characters that they voice, like mainly their key roles, and then you look at these dramatic characters and you're like, oh my god, what the fuck are y'all doing that I'm doing wrong? Especially when it's like also um, English voice actors and how they do the exact same thing and such. I, I mean, because like for guys... It's some guys that I haven't seen it with a lot of guys, but there's like a couple of guys, and I can't remember some names that I can't can't really think of off the back, that also do. The only one that I can kind of really think of, like out of the blue right now, is Shota Aoi, because Shota Aoi has a feminine voice um, and such. And so he can go back and forth between playing male and female roles. Like, I think currently, as of right now, in my opinion, his best, like, female role is what's her face and uh symphogear and then him playing fisheye even though i have not seen the sailor moon movie yet because of course you know we don't know when the fuck it's coming to america but when it comes your girl's gonna go to the theater and watch that bitch and then plus the fact is he's currently the lead in um tokyo babylon uh 2021 even though we don't know when the heck that show is supposed to come out because your girl is waiting for the show. Oh my god, this is the most, like, besides freaking the World's End With You anime and Shield Hero Season 2, Tokyo Bubble 2021 is, like, my most anticipated show because I love the manga, of course, because it's Clamp. Anything by Clamp, but I immediately love no matter what. But, like, your girl is ready to see the story from the beginning to the end. The whole fucking thing. So freaking bad. And the fact is that right now it's at a to-be-determined because of this situation um, that came between December and January. And who knows, honestly, when it's gonna come, which sucks. But, like, I just... I need a new trailer. <laughs> or just some new info on it. Like, so freaking quick fast and hurrying you don't even know but yeah for Ichika this was a really good episode same same thing for Iski. I mean in a way like every episode even if it's just a girl who has like just one little pimple moment or even several everybody shines in this and this is what I love about this show because they don't really like okay I, I oh god what can I compare this to um, yeah, I can compare it a little bit to Pretty Cure, especially when it's, like, the first, like, four or five girls, and you're wondering how in the world are they going to give everybody character development. Pretty Cure in this show do it very, very well. There's some shows that, like, in my opinion, they don't do the best, but with these two, even if it's, like, Itsuki or Ichiga getting that main focus, like, Yotsuba Nino and Miku will also get equally amount of focus time as much as the other two. And I love that about this show, which is so freaking good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of season 2 of the Quintessential Quintuplets. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday, Friday for episode 6. Bye, guys!